Hi, my name is Monica Tooks. I am a Spelman alum from 1999 graduate. When I was at Spelman, we were getting funding from the Olympics, so most of my professors were doing all the beautiful sculptures and installations that were in the city. And um, there was a huge competition for who would be able to, to do those. And my, most of my professors won all, out all of them. <laughs> so we, we represented Spelman very well there too. So those relationships are still intact and those people still are nurturing everything that I do now. And um, now that I'm not there anymore and I'm in my own career, it's definitely giving me the momentum to keep going. The most striking experience, I guess, that happened while I was at Spelman, I was an athlete. I was a Morehouse cheerleader for basketball and football. And um, I was in a car accident while I was at Spelman. So it's, it's a huge memory because I had to learn to walk again while I was there. So of course, for all you students that are out there now that are walking back and forth from campuses all the time, you, you understand how hard that can be to be on crutches or a wheelchair um, going back and forth to class. So um, that was the biggest, most memorable experience for me and it, it impacted my life tremendously because while I was in one of the most prestigious colleges out there, I was having to go through or overcome one of the hardest things I've ever went through in my life and I had just lost my father a month before I came to Spelman. Spelman nurtured me. I immediately was in therapy, not of my own choice, <laughs> definitely not of my own choice. The art department um, surrounded me and knew something wasn't right and talked to me, nurtured my gift, um, helped keep me involved in what I loved. And um, my therapist there was absolutely amazing. And I never felt like I was in therapy. It was like going to another class. Um, I felt like I was talking to a close friend. And Dr. Cole and my therapist were the first people to wrap their arms around me when I walked across the stage with my diploma. Um, man, there's just so many wonderful reasons why not just an African-American woman, but a woman should go to Spelman. This is an institution that I went to class and we moved chairs in circles so that we could all talk to each other face to face, debate, argue, laugh, cry, scream, um, but do it in a way that was respectful, honorable, loving, um, strong, dignified, so many things. Um, I would want anybody to experience that. And I didn't come into Spelman believing all these things about myself. I came into Spelman from Biloxi, Mississippi. I had never been in a city this big. The relationships, the friendships, these same people I went to college with are the very people that are collecting my art now, that I'm traveling the world with, that I'm watching their babies grow up, that I'm going to conventions and um, watching them give scholarships and fellowships to other young girls and other young people. I'm watching them go out there and be activists for things that they love and believe in. I'm watching them on TV. I'm watching them just going out there and I know what they feel when they're on that stage because Spelman gave us that. They gave us self. They didn't just give us education. They gave us a light to see who we were as individuals and that's a power that you there's no amount of money that can that that's not worth that I mean I get emotional just thinking about how amazing that school that school was life it gave me life it literally gave me the air I breathe to stand in front of people and believe in who I am as a woman